Okay, let's practice making some arrays. I'm going to show you different ways to declare them. So I've just made a, a basic Java file here. Inside the main method, I'm going to declare an array, and then I'm going to fill each cell individually. So let's start with an array of int, uh, int variables, integers. Um, to make an array, you use the regular keyword int, and then you put two square brackets, an open bracket and a closed bracket, right after it. That says it's going to be like a list of integers. And we're going to give it a name, something really original like numbers. So that declares the variable, but we haven't made the array itself yet. So let's do that. You write equals and then the keyword new. That makes a new object and it's going to be an array of integers. So we put int and then again the square bracket, but this time we have to put in the number of elements that we want. So I'm going to put an array of size 5. Now the index numbers, as you remember, go from 0 up to 4. So now I'm going to fill in this array by referencing each cell individually. Numbers at 0 I'm going to put the value 10. Numbers at 1, I'm going to put the value 20. Numbers at 2, I'm going to put the value 30. And I think you can see the pattern here. And this takes a little while. It's not super efficient. Numbers at 4, which is the last element, which is the fifth element going to be 50. So this is a way to um, fill in each cell individually. If you don't fill them in, because these are ints, the default value is 0 in Java. Uh, but it's a good idea to fill them in anyway. Okay, another way to make this same array uh, is by filling it in with a list. So let me just, I'm going to remove this here. And we're going to declare the same thing, an int array, again called numbers. And this time, I'm going to just make the list of numbers that I want. So instead of the new int array stuff, we're going to use a curly brace, which is probably beside the P key on your keyboard. And then we're going to fill in the values that I want. 10, comma, 20, comma. These all have to be separated by commas. And at the very end, closing curly brace and then a semicolon to end the line. So Java says, OK, he must want an array of size 5 and these are the five elements that are going to go into it and I have to put int values in here because I have declared this as an int array. If you put something else like a string value here you're gonna get an error. So that makes a, a list for me. Well this is fine for small stuff but what if I want something really big? Then it's something maybe you can fill the array, the array up with a loop. So for example let's do another int array. Again numbers and this one is going to be a new int array of size uh, 100. Oops, I missed my T. Int array of size 100. Now that would take a really long time to type out 100 values in a row. So I'm going to use a for loop. I'm going to use a counter. So I'm going to start with I. I'm going to start at 0. And the reason for that is that my um, index values start at 0 in my array. So it's really helpful to start there. I less than. I could put the number 100 here. I'm going to do that for now. And I'm going to fix that or, or improve that in a minute. So I'm going to go through the numbers from 0 up to 99. When i equals 100, this will not run because i needs to be less than 100. When I'm in there, I'm going to say numbers at i. So this will be numbers at 0, then the next time numbers at 1, and so on. Numbers at i equals, and the value I want for the first time through, I want the number 10. The second time through, I want the number 20. So I'm going to do the number 10 times, that's the shift 8 asterisk key, times, hmm, let's see, I don't want it to multiply by i because i is going to start at 0. Well, the first time through I want it to be one more than that. So I'm going to do i plus 1. That'll take my index number, add 1 to it, and then multiply it by 10. So the first cell will get the value 10, the second cell will get the value 20, and so on. This will fill up my array with the values 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on, up to 1000. Now what I did here, I used the number 100 in two spots. A lot of the times in programming we don't know what this value is going to be. This is something we get from the user or we determine from the state of the program while it's running. So uh, instead, often you might do something like um, get a value somewhere. I'm going to fill in the value 100, but you know you might get that from the user or something like that. So maybe I'll make an array of size array length, which is a variable. I got it from somewhere. And then here in my loop, I can do the same thing. I can use that variable array length, or I can use this variable here, numbers dot length. It's an attribute of the array. So every array, like this one numbers, has 
a variable called length attached to it, which is the size or the, the number of elements that it can hold. So you just reference it with a dot to get access to that variable. So numbers.length will have the same value as array.length because that's how we made the array and in this case that's the value 100. Okay, so that's three ways to make an array and uh, we, we can either declare it and then fill the values up individually. We can declare it by making a list and then Java figures out how big it is or we can declare it and then fill it up uh, using a loop. Alright, I hope that helps. Thanks.